Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. I know this is probably not what you expected. Um, if you end up liking this video, let me know if you want a part two. If you end up hating it, just don't say anything at all because it hurts my feelings. But if you've been wondering why I've been MIA for a little bit, I am actually getting ready to move away from my hometown and off to college. I'm a junior in college, or I will be a junior when I move this summer. And as you can see behind me, I have started collecting quite a bit of things to get ready for my new apartment. It's a two bedroom, two bath, third floor. It's beautiful. But what I didn't quite realize is you got to buy a lot of things when you're moving out. And so slowly but surely, I've been acquiring a lot of those things, kitchen stuff and bedroom stuff mainly, some bathroom stuff too, because I'd rather spend a little bit of money now than have to spend a ton of money all at once and get overwhelmed and I can't do that. So I thought today I would make a video of basically running through my first apartment checklist, show you all the items I have so far, um, as well as how I acquired them, because there are some nice things back here that I did not pay full price for, so. Get ready for that. But not only do I wanna make this video for you guys, I also wanted to make it for myself so I can look back and remember what I actually already have so I don't buy things again because I'm probably gonna end up doing that. So I have a couple things set up in totes right now. I went ahead and grabbed everything out. I have it all right here. Well, actually it's like, it's like all around me right now. But I figured we'd start with kitchen stuff and then kind of move our way down throughout the other rooms. I love to cook. I also love to eat. Uh, so I have a ton of kitchen stuff. I figured I would show you that first and yes, if you see the aquarium there, I will be bringing some fish to college. We'll get to that in a later video, so stay tuned for that. But yes, the first thing is my Fluval Spec Aquarium. I'm actually bringing two of these. Um, this is just one of them right now. We'll get to that later, like I mentioned. This is an apartment vlog, not a fish vlog. Although if you came for the aquariums, stick around, I promise. So I figure starting with glassware would be a good start. Um, these right here are super cute. I got these from the Dollar Tree. Like, you don't have to spend a lot of money to get nice glassware. Cute little stemless wine glasses, champagne flutes. It was like $3 for these right here. I also obviously had to go to Ikea and I grabbed some of their glasses too. Um, I love these water glasses. It was like 10 bucks for a pack of six. And then for around the same price, I also picked up a little box of these stemless wine glasses. I love these. Super small, super cute. Um, you can't beat Ikea's prices either. Like I said, I want to go through this stuff in order. This is a dish that I picked out, 60 bucks from Ikea. I'm really into that like matte ceramic finish. And these little whatever you want to call them pack of 24 little bowls plates and salad plates you can't beat it for 60 dollars love the texture of them they had a lot on display and i just really liked the light gray so that's what i went with i don't have cutlery yet and i think that's pretty much it for dishes but i don't know there's so much stuff around here we'll get there but obviously i need the basics and plates bowls and cups were all on there obviously sticking with the kitchen stuff i got this little baking dish it's a perfect size for like enchiladas a big batch of brownies whatever it is from la crusade uh, i think it was 40 dollars at the la crusade outlet um, I love it, super cute, black and white, can't beat it. Now I never thought I would be as excited for pots and pans as I am with this set right here. This is the All Clad Essentials non-stick set. It was $200 from TJ Maxx. It came with, I think, three pots, three pans, is that four pans? I don't know, and some lids. For 200 bucks, you cannot beat that. All Clad is a really amazing brand and they're definitely known for their stainless steel cookware. However, I need something that can go in a dishwasher and their budget line of Essentials non-stick cookware checked all the boxes for me. Very happy with this purchase. Next up, $10 cutting board from Ikea. Back to the basics, 10 bucks, can't beat it. This cannot go in the dishwasher though and I'm not happy about it. Also not kitchen related, but I guess it could be. You could use this for utensils. It's a plant pot. It's that same matte stoneware that I've been loving from Ikea, like literally $10. I also picked up the fancy toaster. Of course, I had to get the touchscreen toaster. This was like 120 bucks on eBay. It was a deal I could not pass up. And I love toast, so it is what it is. Now, because space is limited, I did get a smaller blender. This is a um a Vitamix. It's like their mini version, I guess. This was like 50 bucks on Facebook Marketplace. Uh, it was used, but it doesn't look used at all. It literally looks brand new. So super satisfied with that. I definitely still need to up my storage game, but these little storage containers were 20 bucks at Costco. You can't beat that. I know I'm gonna need them. So I figured I would pick some up now and then probably get the rest later. Now these next items, I'm kind of gonna run through really fast. I have a big bin right here of just random kitchen gadgets. So I figured I would just highlight each one super quick and just show you kind of the basics of what you're gonna need because I didn't know I was gonna need half these things. So obviously a whisk, got a strainer as well as a lemon zester. I love these little mini spatulas and then the tamper in my blender. A set of glass straws, some emergency because everyone's getting sick. Extension cords, stainless steel measuring cups, not plastic ones. Champagne stopper, carrot peeler, potato peeler, whatever, can opener. Another whisk, a lemon juicer, and some little rubber spatulas. I got these cheap knives, but I'm looking for a much better knife set. If you have any suggestions, drop them down below. I really need to get some good knives. And then just random little things like an aim of flame, a hot pad, a metal spoon, and a wine opener. Uh, this is just a start for the kitchen gadgets. I'm probably honestly gonna need like double of what I have now, just because there's so many random things you don't think of. Like I don't even have a normal spatula yet. You would think I should get on that. 
I also got this cheap Dutch oven uh, to make things like breads and stuff. It was like 30 bucks at Walmart. And then kind of a big purchase here, my mixer. This is a KitchenAid tilt head mixer. Um, I like the smaller size because obviously smaller kitchen. That was brand new in the box and I got it off Facebook Marketplace for literally $30. I actually bought two of them for $250, sold one of them for $220 and kept this one for 30. And then I went ahead and bought the glass KitchenAid bowl for an extra 40 bucks. I think the glass bowl just looks better than that metal bowl. Especially in a small kitchen, I think the glass bowl will just make it look a little nicer sitting on the counter. Now that's pretty much all the kitchen stuff. We're gonna move into bedroom real quick. I don't have any furniture because that would be a pain to move. If you guys are enjoying this so far, let me know and I'll show you kind of the furniture I've picked out. I'm also gonna create an Amazon list in the description. It'll be the first link at the top and that will show you kind of all my apartment must-haves. A lot of the items I have behind here, I'll go ahead and put on that list so you can see you know, prices of whatever you want. Um, and I'm also just gonna keep throwing things there from time to time, little inspiration pictures. So if you wanna stay updated on that, definitely click the link in my description. But now let's go ahead and get into some bedroom stuff and some cleaning stuff. I went ahead and just grabbed a little duvet insert from Ikea and then I just went with this simple little like light brown, almost linen but not linen because linen wrinkles. But just a nice little neutral duvet set. It almost matches my dishes, kind of, not on purpose. But I've been really loving the neutrals right now and of course I'm gonna dress it up with a whole bunch of throw pillows and throw blankets. So just the basics for now. Also got some artwork from Ikea. It's a pack of three. They're supposed to like go in a row on the wall. Probably gonna hang these above my bed. And then I actually don't think I mentioned it yet but I am moving to the beach so I went ahead and got these little um beach pictures I don't know if I love or hate these these might not be the vibe I might end up throwing these away I think they were like seven dollars so if I hate them oh well now this is just really the stuff that I bought a lot of the stuff I'm bringing so I'm not going to show you guys that because it's like still set up in my room but I ordered a whole bunch of cable management stuff some stuff to hang brooms and mops and whatever so little storage things as well as this little hair dryer holder and some magic erasers a lot of the smaller stuff I got from Amazon and Timu and then some of the bigger stuff like I mentioned was Facebook marketplace target stuff like that I also obviously picked up this vacuum cleaner uh this is a really really good brand of vacuum I found this for $200 on Facebook Marketplace, which is very cheap. Um, it's the SIBO brand, and I think these are like $1,000. So I'm very satisfied with that purchase. Because if you didn't know anything about me, I'm definitely a clean freak. I also found this little air purifier um, on Amazon. I think it was like 20 bucks, super cheap and small, probably for our living room, because I'm gonna have my big uh, Dyson fan in my room, which is also an air purifier. But I figured something like this would be good to have, especially in a small apartment. And then I think last but not least, if I didn't forget anything, um, I also just got this little slim trash can to go in the bathroom. I think it was super cheap on Amazon. I saw it and bought it, you know, why not? But I think that was the rundown. I know this video was messy. We had kitchen, bathroom, cleaning, so much stuff going on. Um, but I think not only did this give myself a good little baseline of what I have going on because it's a lot and it's overwhelming for sure But I hope if any of you guys are moving out anytime soon This kind of reminded you of yeah, you do need to buy a vacuum cleaner and yeah You do need to buy measuring cups all those little things those little expenses that add up and you least expect but I'm super excited to move out So I'm hoping I will get a lot more content coming up soon Like I said if you guys like these videos and you want to see that whole moving process Let me know if you're just here for the fish also let me know we do have a couple updates with some tanks things are moving things are coming things are going uh, i actually plan on doing a full update video with that soon so don't stress don't worry big things are coming there but as i mentioned please let me know your thoughts in the comments down below i will catch you guys in the next video which hopefully will be coming up very very soon once again thank you guys so much for watching i'm so appreciative for each and every one of you guys and i will catch you like i said in the next video good bye